Have you ever dreamed of catching Atlantic Salmon? If you have, but you're not too sure how to go about it, join me on my quest for Atlantic Salmon here in Ireland. And you should pick a couple of tips around methods, gear and fish behavior. So um, let's kick it right off with my very first session after them. That's the river there. It looks amazing. First, we need to go and get ourselves a ticket. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, my name is Marcin. Do like the video, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are subscribed with the bell notification on, you won't miss any future fishing and tips videos. Oh, you shouldn't be saying this to a guy on the first day. But then, he came here, uh, maybe his second day again, was it? He caught his first ever fish on the fly. And then the next day he catches seven fish. Seven fish. On the fly. No, I say one's good. Wind, but it is yeah, difficult, Marcin, so fun. don't beat yourself up. Just keep trying. <laughs> no, this is a challenge. When I started bass fishing with lures, yeah. it took me actually, I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. It took me 10 days and nights before I fi finally yes. got one. Yeah. But you wouldn't believe how happy I was after all. Yeah, I'm sure, all yes, I know, I know. It is different. Same as this, this is not easy. It can be very lucky some days and yeah. get one, but you know. <laughs> It does take time, yeah, but you never know. We say the fish do not know who's the other end of the lure, you know? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I miss the river fishing so much. Brilliant. So, I'm gonna make my uh, first cast ever after salmon now. And I'm using a spinner rod, so apologies for that. But I can't fly fish. Never had a fly rod in my hand. So I'll try to get them on the spinners. Oh, I'll, I'll be casting spinners anyway, and I'm going with the trusted flanky inside or I had four main methods to choose from being a lures, flies, worms and shrimp. I will tell a little bit more about those methods later in the video, but being primarily a lure anglers these days, the spinners was the option I went for in the first place and Soon enough I was into my first fish and then a few others, unfortunately they weren't my target species, but it was great to get some quick action. Okay, I just had a quick bite and I've changed the reel for the pen slammer. Um, the twin power, as much as I love it, I didn't feel the, the 3000, I didn't feel it was up to the job. So just put this big bad, bad boy. We are in a lovely bit of a water now. There's a bit of faster water there and there's an island there, it splits the water into a uh, two channels you can't really access that one and this one is very fast water which creates a nice big pool over here so we'll spend in this pool the next at least hour and we'll try to work it out as much as possible would that be a bit lame if i said that this flying sea are really flying I'm sure I'll catch salmon sooner or later. At the moment, I can only imagine how awesome fun it would need to be to actually hook one in that fast-paced water. I can only imagine. It's amazing when you think about it. The fish that are running this river, they were born in this river, up in some streams, feeding this river most likely. And then they spend some time in the sea, traveling all 
around the fish there as far as um, Iceland and now they're coming back to exactly the same river. They're not feeding since they've entered the fresh water. They stopped feeding and I'm trying to catch that fish. That's amazing when you think about it. I just got the goosebumps. <laughs> okay, I think we'll move on. What happens is that you see the salmon live in the sea. They don't live in the river. So we're fishing for a, salmon, a fish that migrates. So these salmon are coming into the river and they are not here to eat anything. This is why it's yeah. difficult, yeah? So they come in and they're only here to spawn. So we're fishing for what we call running fish. And at the moment, there's not very, very many fish in the river. Salmon. And then as the year goes on, the more and more salmon come to the river because they don't come in the river, make babies and go back. Every salmon will wait until November and then they all make babies together and then back to the sea. Okay, so the more you go in the in the year, the more salmon in the river. But this does not mean that you can catch them because when a fresh fish come in, it is really excited and it's not difficult to catch. Right, so when a fresh fish come in, it's like, uh, 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 uh. when it sits in the river, it's like this. Yeah, and it won't take spinner, fly, worm, shrimp. <laughs> you, know, you might see it, it might jump and splash and it's like exciting, but often it will not take. So, and when the fish stay in the river, they become more and more colored. So you get them, they, they become really, really silver and then they go very, very dark color brown. I didn't get my first salmon that session, but I was learning a lot already and putting in hundreds, if not thousands of casts. This session was followed by a few more. It was a time for me to serve my salmon fishing apprenticeship, meeting new friends, watching them using different methods and landing their fish for the time being. Brilliant. That's fantastic. It's a, yeah, a, a intermediate. Intermediate. Yeah, intermediate tip. I think I talked to measure the water, he probably went, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that was the little, maybe the little break yes. we, we gave them. Yeah. And they came up to see what was on top. That's fantastic, after yeah. a long day and no one is getting yeah. anything. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Oh, hopefully I get them in now. Fingers crossed. <laughs> there you are. There you oh, are. Oh, the fly is just outside. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Now we walk up. Now we do away. Well, I'm ready. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was a quick release. 5 a.m. start and about 2k trek across the fields and the woods. And I'm at this lovely river. And I'm dying to get down there somehow. To get down into the water. And a small grill just jumped on the far bank. Very excited. I was traveling far and wide fishing the famous river Moy, River Phil and the Blackwater. I managed to get a couple of hits, even hooked two fish, one on shallow ruining crankbait and another one on the flying sea. Unfortunately, both came off. The latter one just inches away from the net. It was painful, but it was very valuable time as the, there are no shortcuts for getting the experience. And I felt I was slowly getting to understand the fish a bit better. It was then that Glenda Powell from the Cork Blackwater River contacted me to say I should try to catch one on the fly. I was on a camper van holiday at that time uh, with my family, but a detour was organized and myself and the two girls were soon camping on the banks of the lovely river Blackwater, anticipating the next morning. Now we're after driving to a Blackwater Hi, River, where I will be trying again for salmon tomorrow. Uh, it will be a wet and windy day, so I guess Girls will be uh, relaxing in the car, in the van all day. Yeah, playing cards. Playing cards. And I will be battling the conditions. 
and uh, having Glenda Powell showing me how to use a fly rod for salmon. So it will be a wet but nice day, I'm sure. For you, yeah. for us. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. Man. See you. Bye. See ya. <laughs>
seven or eight trips, sessions after salmon with a spinning rod and the first time fishing with fly with Glenda. She was as excited and nervous <laughs> as myself. I'm still shaking. <laughs> and eventually, and eventually, just by the last that I was going to take, get, get out of the water, the fish took my fly and uh, I was sure I lost it again. She swam right towards me. She's taken at the full line, maybe about 30 meters out and she swam all the way towards me. My heart sunk, I thought she was gone. But then Glenda, obviously with her years of experience, told me she was still on. Keep reeling, keep it steady. And after some 10 minutes, the fish is getting now ready to go. Yeah, I think a fish is just about ready. <sighs> Goodbye, fish. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> well deserved. Well deserved. Mia playing there and Agnes just making a lovely lunch. And I can't wait to go back at the river. And the day wasn't yet over as it turned out. When it comes to the four methods I mentioned at the start, first of all let me tell you, many fisheries will not permit the use of worms or shrimps. On occasions it's fly only fishing, so the fly will simply speaking give you access to most water. If you think it's difficult, it's not really, I was holding the fly rod for the very first time that day. Uh, I will say however that two hours spent with a good guide and a fly instructor will give you a tremendous kickstart and I highly value my time spent with Glenda. Moving on, generally speaking, worms and spinners will outperform the fly when there is a lot of colored water in the river. When conditions are clearer, I found that a small fly can be often very hard to beat and will get you a bite when spinners will get ignored completely. When it comes to worms, it's not a method I will use since at times the worm is not suitable for catch and release as the fish often swallows the worm. When it comes to shrimping, I've seen it done with a fineness approach and a quite crude approach. And I must say that I didn't fancy the crude one, but the finest one with a very sl small float and the center pin reels is a method that really looks appealing and I'd like to try it as the magic of the float disappearing is hard to beat. So for me, it's the fly winning hands down with lures coming up as a backup when the waters are high. Uh, and between the two, fly I found being a far more enjoyable method far more rewarding and also physically less demanding method than casting heavy spinners across strong current all day long. So here you go, that's my summary of my successful quest for salmon and what I learned in the process. And now let's jump right back in and see what else happened that day. First time fly fishing for salmon and we hooked another one. What a lovely fish, another great fight. What was the fly, Pete? Apache shrimp. Apache shrimp. Yeah. Did the trick. And just as I was getting my casting somewhat right, the fish is taken. Oh, she's ready to go. Okay. She's kicking there. Off she goes. Ah. Well done, my friend. Ah. Put it there, my one. Thanks, Superb. Pete. 